Hello, everybody. Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right, so this is really, really, really interesting as far as Mad Men goes because this is, we're in the back half of the season. and Yeah, we only have a few episodes left. And they're really, really going for it right now. Yeah. We got Rachel Mankin she's, sort of back. You know, Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Right. But they brought her up again. Yeah, yeah they brought, brought her up. Right. Don thought that he was of, in love with her. Yeah, and, book ending season one, really, with it. Yeah. Which she, I never would have expected if all the characters come back, Rachel Mankin, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there, when this was like real time on television, when this is like seven years later, mm -hmm. there might have been people who like, who? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the chick from season one. Yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting that he's still... He, he still hung up on them. He still, he, he thought he loved her. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, they, I, I felt like they were the closest thing he had to a relationship that worked because in, in a lot of ways, she was the closest to him as a character. Sure. You know, um, she was obviously broken, uh, affluent, um, trying to prove herself. You know, they, they, they had a lot more in common. I, I, here's, here's the deal. I feel like in season one and in this season two, I think, mm -hmm. Don had more in common with her, definitely, than he had with Betty. Was it? Yeah, you know, for sure. But like they, they were they much were more kind of cute. They, they, they were much more kindred spirits. You I, know? I agree. With I, you. I feel like Don was more of himself around her than he was ever around Betty. So I, I, I think that's why she stuck so much yeah. in Don's mind is because in that time of his life where he should have been a, a husband and a father, mm -hmm. this other thing really seemed to be a better fit for him. He blew it, Big right? Time. Uh, and, and we, we, we obviously hold. We, we, we're not. Rooting for Don to cheat on no, no, not at all. But but but, but it was interesting, right? It was kind of romantic. Well, especially, you know? especially now when we've gotten to where we are on the show, it's like Don and Betty never should have gotten married in the no, first place. These no. two, these two were never okay for each other. And it wasn't Bobby. Remember when he was with Bobby in season two? That was yeah, no, the no, that was Rachel thing. That was just that was weird. It was weird. They kind of got close to it in season three with the teacher. Right. I liked her a lot, you know, especially yeah. since her and Betty were really in the outs. It's like leave Betty be the teacher. That right. didn't happen either, you know. Right. Um, but Rachel was interesting, and I don't know. It's like Don is seemingly doing better, but obviously the man is not doing well. No, know? no, he's he's still not there. Now he he is he's. I, I I like the fact that in this last season he's he's by himself, right? His marriage yeah. is over, and he's being more introspective about his life. He's sure. been more open about who he was, yeah. you know, with the women at the diner. He was telling the, some of the true stories about how he grew up, you know, which he didn't come out until the Nestle, I think it was Nestle or Hershey's, Hershey's, Hershey's meeting. Um, which where he was owned by Nestle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But at any rate, um, where he, you know, was honest about, you know, some of his backstory, which he hadn't done outside of that other moment. Um, since that moment, they got him fired, right? Yeah. When he was kind of a shell of himself, he started being more honest with his kids about it. Yeah. You know, he took them to the house where he grew up. And now he's telling strangers about it. I, I feel like we're never going to get Don Draper tells everyone I'm really Dick Whitman. But we're going to get as close as we can get as far as this is who, as a person, I think I am. Yeah. And before the show's over, I want to see with more of him and Sally. One or two. I, yeah, I hope. Like, I, I, it's really interesting. Yeah, you know, it. right now we're kind of writing characters off, right? We had Bert a couple episodes ago. We had yeah. Kenny this episode. We we had yeah. Cutler and Lou, you know, kind of gone because they yeah. were there with the merge. We're, we're, we're sending off a lot of characters, and I really don't want that to happen with Sally. They didn't spoil anything, but somebody on Patreon said we might not, we might not have seen the end of Lou. Uh, good I, I know it's I, like I, we all love him we love him but you know <laughs> I, I would like don to run into him when he's on the street like trying to trying to sell ads cheap on the streets <laughs> buy my ad scouts honor 20, 20 dollars scouts honor <laughs> that's, that's what it's gonna be he's gonna run into he's gonna he's gonna run into him in a pitch meeting trying to pitch scouts honors a cartoon <laughs> watch it blow up <laughs> right, it's a huge cartoon right, movie right, exactly. right after looney tunes <laughs> scouts honor all right, you want to jump into it here, guys? <laughs> the sad thing is, I would watch it. <laughs> I would not. To I'd check it, it out. You know, oh, yeah. I mean? I'd, I'd watch it with Stan. Yeah. <laughs> you want to thank all of our Patreon subscribers for being here with us, and give our special shout out, of course, to Actuarial Lurker, Balaz Voldez, Chris, Jeff, Christy Goverston, NJ, Surya Gundavarapu, and Weird Magic. Thanks so much, guys. We're very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you might hit the like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching please check out the link in the description over our patreon page on every show we're watching including mad men we're at least four episodes ahead on patreon if we're on youtube so by the time you're seeing this on youtube we're probably getting fairly close to the end of the show yeah. sadly this is um, the end. 
you will have to sync and watch along on your own source material. You're only going to see us for copyright purposes. We're also watching 30 Rock right now. It's a Patreon exclusive and just started Godless over on Patreon yeah. as well, which one episode in is point. It was awesome, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have those characters now that we get towards the end we aren't going to get rid of. Sure. I feel like Pete and Joan and Peggy are de- and Roger definitely not going to ever drop out. The original cast. Right. The, 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 the central people, for sure. The blender was broken at the diner. Anyone dare to no buy them up dessert? We had dinner with the dean of Fairfield University. Uh-huh. Of course. Actually, I'm planning on enrolling in the fall. Mm-hmm. Master's degree. Nice. I like yeah. that. For you. What? I should go. Don't rush off. You can finish your milkshake. Did you have fun? Oh, okay. Uh, it's, well, you can't be mad. At, you can't be mad. No, no, no. I, I, I do not feel bad for him for that losing Ben. Yeah, that's yeah, on absolutely. You, dude. It completely. Well, I wanted to let you know that the movers are going to come on Wednesday to pick up my furniture. <laughs> what time do you want me to be there? To help the doorman. How could you be out of money? Well, between the movers and the flight... Why am I explaining myself to you? It's so much for you don't have to do anything for me on that last phone call. Yeah. You do anything you want, as long as it's, you know, limited. Yeah. So you just fly to Los Angeles for the weekend? Isn't that tiring? What's tiring is coming back here. So beautiful. You should go sometime. Harry. He cannot control himself, can he? No, he can't. Megan called me. Really? I guess she's coming into town and she wants to buy me a drink to see if I can help her find a new agent. Hello. How are you? I'm all over town. I'm surprised. Yeah. This is my phone number. Call me when you get off work. I'll meet you somewhere. He just doesn't even ask, does he? No. <laughs> Ed! All I'm saying is you dug pretty deep to find a woman. Do you know where Samantha Ryan's portfolio is? She calls herself Pima. I'm glad you called. I didn't think you were gonna. I don't know anybody in New York so strange to see somebody that I know. Racine, Wisconsin. I had to get a divorce. Yeah, welcome to the club. Right, I divorced. Yeah. Then you slip into something less comfortable. Yeah. I'm well, just hanging out like this. <laughs> Do you sleep like that? <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean. I don't know how I feel about getting to know you better. It's three in the morning. You know why you're here. Do you want a drink or not? Thank you. Straight to it, right? Well, I mean, he's right. Yeah, she didn't pop over to have a conversation and have a sandwich. <laughs> They're here every other weekend. Well, not my little girl. She's in boarding school, but the boys come. Yeah, something's up with her. Yeah, there's a lot that we're not getting about her. I find her mysterious and awesome. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a femme fatale. Kinda, yeah. You okay. No, I left home because I. I have a little girl. I had a little girl. You got your models? You got your bottles. If you make it to lunch without bothering anybody, we'll let you have whichever you want. Oh, God. I hate you. I hate these guys. <laughs> Every time. All are already selling something. No, we're actually selling something. Today it's vermouth. Men like him don't bother me. And they shouldn't bother you either. Look at all you're doing here. The can represents Derby Foods. Peter Pan peanut butter. They're making a cookie. Sounds delicious. Megan is not Jane. So she never said you squandered her it's youth. Mimi Rogers. Used up her childhood. No, I didn't years, recognize her. Yeah, her career. Right what career? Don't you have a dark room here? Yes. But I can't do that. I wouldn't mind you taking a look if you promise to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, we got the list. Are these two going to hook up? I, I, I <laughs> was a little sure. bit of a vibe there. I wasn't sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Are you in a creative mood or a bad mood? I don't know what I'm doing. I must sit out there all the time. I want to see where you live. See, I feel like it... I don't know. I, I don't feel like she feels like part of his redemption arc. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think so. I, This feels... Um, like, a, like it doesn't feel permanent. It feels yeah, it, it doesn't. We have to get out of here. 
wife showing up early. To take her things, and I don't want to be here. Tu peux annuler ton billet. No. It's about her getting a new agent. Be twelve percent supportive. Yeah, it's there to get her stuff, and God, she's kind yeah. of late for work. Yeah. It's not much. It's just the boxes. You filled the whole truck. That wasn't what we agreed. I told you it was going to be more. More than double. Fine. How much you got? That's extortion. Oh my God! She just stole all of Don's furniture. I need you to come to Don's apartment with two hundred dollars, and not a penny more. Calm down. He has no furniture. There's nothing left there. What are you doing? Drawing is a much more rare talent. Oh. This is a weird power play, I kind of feel like, you know? My pleasure. My pleasure. Don agreed to this? Oh, in his house? <laughs> Take advantage of me. Oh. I don't feel like that's taking advantage of her. Yeah, you can't take advantage of the will. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. You are every man's fantasy. You're like oh, Ali yeah. McGraw and Bridget Bardot had a baby. You should be the most famous person in the world right now. I think so. He is hitting on her hard. He's not a loyal person, but I am. Here we go. Well, we can work any I have a pen. Well, I have a room upstairs. Oh my god! Hold on. I would leave. Forget all that. So he's creeping. Come on, producer. have another yeah. glass of wine. Oh my God, Megan. Where the f is everything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you don't care that she's married to my father. What's my idea? You don't get to stand in judgment of me. Yes, she does. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I should warn you. We had lunch, and uh, she's not stable, Don. She said a lot of crazy things, and I'm sure we'll continue to say them. You are. Oh, oh my God! Choke him out. I don't think I could have helped her anyway. She quit her soap and left New York. That was a really dumb idea. I would love to take your picture. Why I die? Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> Peggy's not as easy as Stan, though. No. An aging, sloppy, selfish liar. She's not wrong, but I don't know where this is coming from. That's how much is he giving her? Hopefully not to be done with it here. A million dollars. Whoa. Whoa. Why are you doing this to me? It's not funny. I don't want to fight anymore. Megan, I'm sorry. Send me the papers. They just gave you a million dollars. You could be a little nicer. Well, well I, I understand Burnt Bridge, but like, yeah. And she's had the crap day of all crap days between right. Harry and her mom. She's got a thing for legs. Women's legs. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> she's a hustler. You're jealous. She tried the same thing with me. Comment ça se fait qu'elle connaît un homme à New York? I don't care. She's leaving, Papa! I've been separated a long time. It's true. You're not the first thing to come along. Look at this dump. I know you think you deserve this. I've done it. I had two children. Two girls. Got it. One died. And one... Didn't My oldest is in Racine with her father. That's interesting because he was going to do the same thing with his kids and run away with uh, yeah. with Rachel. Sorry, but same what you're looking for. Same what she's looking for. Definitely not what she's looking for. <laughs> Watch you cancel that check, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just taking out the amount of money that would pay for furniture. You know what though? Clean start. I think that's a lot, lot a lot of what this is. He needs a clean I, start. I like the shot of him alone right. in the house. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. It's not it's it's 
now now where do we go because now we now we are back to another reset for dawn yeah and also like you know it's um i mean it's a little on the nose obviously he's in a house by with, with nothing in it no possessions and and that's um that's kind of like her situation too obviously she was sitting in her house and she's like does it look like i want anything right i have nothing in here um so yeah i mean it, it's i don't know i don't i don't know we're headed with a handful of episodes left because we have this what episode eight or is this nine? This is nine, right? Yeah, nine. Sorry, nine. nine. Yeah. So we only have five left. Yeah. In five episodes, what are we gonna do with Don? I think Don is gonna be the main focus of the last five episodes. Like, well, where do we go with Don? As I said, we've been kind of stripping characters away um, that we're not going to to see again, or at least not much. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to see Megan again. I, I think after that, that, like I thought we were already done with her after the phone call. Yeah. I feel like this is definitely the end of Megan. Sure. Um, I doubt we'll see Megan's mom again, but who knows? If unless well, she's, she's with staying, Roger, she right? Says she's staying, she's staying in New York, York with Roger. Roger, maybe. So yeah. there's a good chance we do. If we see her mom, maybe one more scene with Megan. Maybe one more episode with Megan. Sure. Maybe. I, I'm not going to write it off yet. But um, but you're right. She's not the focus at all whatsoever. Well, this was a great great send off for her. Yeah, it um, was. I feel for her. I really do. I, yeah. I, I really enjoy Megan as a character. I mean, like, that's one of my favorite arcs in the show is, well, the twist in season four where they get engaged right. all the way to now, I, I think is one of the most fascinating parts of the show. Um, I, I, I'm, I have just, and it's small, but one small criticism of Megan is, like, Dawn is getting blamed for her career not going well because of blah, blah, blah. Sure. She didn't have a career before Dawn. No. She blatantly told Don, fix my career. There's some, and he did. There's like, some hypocrisy there. Th- sure. th- there is some hypocrisy there. It's like Don did X, Y, Z to to help her have this acting career. Yeah. But now, now that it's not going well, all on her own, all because of her own auditions, her own agent, whatever you want to blame, mm-hmm. it's not going well. And now it's Don's fault. Yeah. And I don't buy that. I, I really don't. I don't buy that. I mean, he's he's the reason she moved to California, and California's not going as well as New York did. I get that, but what else is he supposed to do for you? One hundred percent. I mean, you give her a million dollars. I mean, <laughs> Harry Harry put it in her head that Don could have done more, but that was just Harry being gross. This I think this solidifies there's never any qualities to Harry. I mean, I don't I don't like Harry. I, I mean, we've never liked Harry. Never, the only time we liked Harry, we thought okay, maybe he is the fault like, when he helped fall out. Heart. Yeah, when he helped that Paul was the episode out. Now yeah. we know he is. His heart is black. He is yeah. He's toxic. He's, he's just he's a, all hell. He's just a slimy third bag. That's so disgusting. I have a room right. upstairs. Right. Having a glass of wine. It's creepy. That's creepy Hollywood producer crap. You know what well, I mean? Well, yeah. And, and when he kind of wrapped it up with, uh, "Gee, I thought you were serious about your career, but apparently well, you're not." Um, every person like that doesn't be locked in a cell did, forever. Did Did this happen around the Harvey Weinstein time? I'm wondering. No, that was 20, that was 2017. Okay, so this would have been when before. everything started popping off. I mean, obviously, not, he not was, that he was operating. Then, right. You know? I mean, not that that's a new story, sure. right? Like that, that's that's as old, that, you know, that's as old as Hollywood. Yeah. But it, it kind of had that vibe, right? The, Big the, time. That, that's Harry, Big who's not time. even really in entertainment. And I was worried um, there for a second that she was going to take the bait. Oh, I didn't think she would. I, for a second there, I was like, is she? And then immediately she was like, as soon as I saw her face, I was like, okay, no, no she's I, not going to do this. She was. She's always been grossed out by Harry. Remember yeah. the one time she was in the office and walked in and Harry was <laughs> shooting his mouth off to stand about all the things he wanted to do to her. I, I, I zoomy, think, zoomy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't think I, w- I would have never assumed that, even if it was going to help her career, that she would have given into Harry of all people. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad. I'm yeah, glad. Harry's I'm gross. So glad. Uh, you know, I, 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 look. It shows that Megan's not perfect, right? Well, obviously, there's nobody perfect in the show, and in real life, there's nobody perfect either. But like, she's taken a lot out of Don. Obviously, he took a lot from her. Right. And she had a crap day. Yeah. Like, this is like the, the mother of all bad days. Right. At least she walked away with a million dollars. At least she walked away with her held, head held high. You know? No, she did. Like, well, by the time she got to with her sister, she was like, whatever, I don't care. And, and I think that's the right answer. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. Let her do, she's doing what she wants. I'm not I'm not engaging in this. Now that this is, like, done, done. Like, it's a done deal. Right. She got, do- she got her money. She got <laughs> her furniture. Dawn has to start again. I just I don't know I, I don't I, I'm not confident in the fact that he's going to rebound. We saw in this episode that he was trying to be full blown, domesticated life with this waitress lady. You know, yeah, that that was never going to work. Never. But with five episodes left, I don't I don't think we have time for a real Don spiral. 
I really don't. I don't think so either. In, in, unless the show ends on a super dark note, I don't think we. I don't think we're going to get a real spiral here. I mean, we know the show is cyclical. Like we know that right. like, all these things just keep happening. So like, right. I mean, there's something else that, that's going to happen. I I hope that there's more reconciliation with Sally at some point. I, I think that's. I think that's where his focus should be. Is on his kids. Episode should right. be about the kids, and we saw it a little bit to be in the episode with the boys. You know? Right. We're making milkshakes, and he like looks. And he, he, that's kind of why he's. I th- oh, that's good. That that's why he's kind of wanting to play house with this lady because he looks in at Henry and, and Henry, Henry, Jean, like, you know. So that's the family I abandoned. All, yeah, or, or blew up ultimately, right? I'm good for uh, Betty for going back to school, though. That's awesome. You know, because yeah. she just one of the frustrating things about Betty for five seasons mm-hmm. was. It was for her. She was in that mind, raised in the mindset, not her fault, but the mindset of be pretty, get married, be a be a homemaker, yeah, with, to a rich guy, and that and that's the best that life can be, right? Yeah. He was he was trying. She was trying to put that on Sally forever, right? Don't mess up your face. Be pretty. Don't cut your hair. Yeah. Like like the right boys, marry rich because that's what happiness is. Yeah. Uh, which is gross, but again, it's gener- it, it was a generational, you know. It was something she was bequeathed, this idea, right? True. So this is the first time we've actually seen Betty be like, you know what? I'm going to do something instead better myself. That, that, that is beyond that. And I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a housewife or anything. No. But for Betty, it always felt like she thought that was always the only way. Yeah. You know? And I felt like she'd been putting that on Sally forever. And that's why they fought so much. Mm-hmm. So now it's kind of nice to see Betty, you know, Take say, control. right, saying like, there, there are other paths, yeah. um, which, which not only for helping herself, but maybe that means she's going to be a little bit more empathetic to Sally. Like, you know what? Maybe so. right. I really hope so. May, maybe marrying the young executive that's going to have a corner suite and a nice house outside the city one day isn't the best you can aspire to, yeah. or the only thing you can aspire to. No, of course. You know, this is we're in the seventies now. Right. Yeah. Exactly. The times are changing, man, and and it's. I'm really glad that Betty's character ends up here. Right. Yeah, for sure. Season one, Betty never would have predicted that she would have ended up going back to get her master's in psychology. Right. That's awesome. Well, remember, season one, Betty, after she wrecked the car, was like, I imagine Sally's face being messed up and how no boy would want to marry her. And I'm like, man, that's your concern. <laughs> that's that, that was the top. <laughs> that was the top concern was yeah. Sally's face being hurt and not being able to land the right kind of husband. And. And, and and again, she was taught that she that you know it's not her fault. We we met her dad, and I I want to you know? say this too. One of the best parts of the show is Betty's arc. Yeah, for sure. We get her so sparingly anymore. For, three, yeah, you know, right. Yeah, and to see that her character is like actually having like a full complete arc, it's like I want to like well up thinking about it. I'm like, this show is so good. Yeah, it's they, so they, good. yeah, it's a really good character arc for her, and they really played the long game with her because yeah. she was. You know, at times, you know, you're your empathetic character, at times you're sympathetic character, and at times she was completely detestable. Full blown villain. Yeah, for she sure. She was the villain of the show. We like, multiple times. Like season four, people were just like, You guys really don't like Betty, you know, and we had to like do like opening videos where we're like, Listen, this is why, you know. Right. Well, I I, I think it's like anything else. I think we're getting really great Betty. Yeah. In the last gosh, I don't know, season maybe. Yeah. Certainly, you know, dozen episodes, whatever. Sure up through the end and i i think a lot of people who have watched the show and got all the way through the show and like the show have their feelings formed about betty yeah. based on watching the entirety of the series yeah and so it's like what do you mean you guys don't like betty she's great <laughs> she's going back to school <laughs> yeah. she's she's becoming a better she's becoming yeah. a more empathetic parent yeah. and i'm like we not don't know for, that not for what we've seen <laughs> she's not yeah, we don't know that yet she's being really petty and hateful yeah um i just keep thinking seth rogan the little virgin i'm sorry i didn't know that yeah exactly <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't know that yeah i mean really so it's like yeah when you have the perspective of the entire show of course yeah um but, they had this on ted lasso with Dr. oh Charlie. people yeah. people were furious with us on ted lasso <laughs> what do you mean yeah. what do you mean you don't like this person after one episode she's one of the best characters on the I show know. really on a show that we have yeah. we're just now watching let us get there let us get there <laughs> i promise when we change our mind about a character we'll say the so first person to say yeah, yeah. exactly um, um but yeah I, I i've definitely come around on betty but that's because betty's come around on betty yes it's it's, it's not like we weren't wrong and how we felt like betty in season three and it's great writing it's great writing it's so good it's, yeah to it's, get you to hate somebody and then love somebody it's right. like oh man i love this show well I yeah of this show well, the nuance is what's oh. great um you know how you know this show is really nuanced we have been called both misogynists for how much for for being critical of betty yeah. and simps 
for being overly critical of Don. You know, it's, it's yeah, like, well, it, w- which one are we? Are we are, are we too feminist or not feminist enough? Can we be in the middle? Yeah, right. Can we exactly. just give everybody or, a fair or, shake? Or, or, or can we react to the show as the show is unfolding in terms of, of what Matthew Weiner and, and, and the rest of the, the production crew want us to see and, yeah. and want us to feel? They know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love the nuance of the show. I love the fact that most of the characters – Sometimes you love them and sometimes you hate them. Yeah, and you it's, know it's 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 a complicated show. It is you know, much like I'm learning on Game of Thrones. There's no real hill heroes. Or yeah, there's yeah exactly. There's it's just complicated people. Yeah, pe- pe- people are more complex than, than than we give them credit for usually in art. And and this show does it really well, it, with the exception of a few characters like Harry. There's there's a lot of gray area with how you feel about somebody. <laughs> Harry, the lesson, with the exception of Harry. Yeah, Everybody's I mean, the, the, had some redeeming qualities. Like there, there have been others. I didn't like no, uh, sure. Conrad Hilton is a guy oh, I, I, Connie, I couldn't stand. Yeah. Connie Hilton, or who was the guy that got Sal fired? Um, oh yeah, the uh, can't uh, the from camera. the. Well, it was the the cigarette yeah, guy. Yeah, like the episode with the camera. Um, God dang it, what was his name? Junior Lee Garner Junior. Thank you. Yeah, hated Lee Garner Junior. Awful lot. Yeah, yeah, he was he was pretty bad. Yeah, but uh, yeah, most of the characters that like like. Peggy, like Joan, like Roger, like everybody. It's like, I'm really liking this person in this moment to I'm really not liking this person in this moment because that's how people are. Pete is a great example. It's a fantastic example. I've I've really liked Pete this season. There were times I thought Pete was a detestable human being. True. We've been up and down on everybody. Absolutely. All right. Only five left, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.